Hello there everyone, so welcome to another episode of this Orcs of the Misty Mountains campaign. So, we do have some armies coming in, uh, over to finish off the Galadrim Elves. I, I meant, I mean finish off, because they basically they have like three places. So, I should attack them. Um, over here I can just rely on to take Maithelberg, this army can take Fransburg, this army will take Rakiburg, so that suddenly will put them in a very bad position. You know, then I can even hit their capital very soon. Like, this army should just control the north, probably go against the Weedy board here, and that will be it. You know, I won't advance any further. Uh, I'll just wait. Uh, do note that I'm gonna have problems with upkeep. That is mostly because I'm no longer, uh, you know, have, I have all the units away from the forts, so that will cause a problem. I could put these units attacking, but I prefer this guy to attack so that he can gain some more general uh, points and stuff. So for now I've destroyed two factions already, which is excellent. I destroyed the mountain. The, um, Imladris and I destroyed uh, Kazadum, so that's two less problems to deal with. And now I want to destroy and finish off the, uh, the Galadrim uh, elves before they get too powerful. So um, just rushing them a little bit, you know. Okay, this is a knight fighter, so usually I prefer to go for loyal knight fighters. The ring has been located it, at the Hornburg. Oh, that is should be interesting. Now, yes, I am losing money, do not, that's that's fine, that was just because, you know guys, that was just because, um, I have all the units away from the forts, you know, so that's, that's not a big deal there, guys. Okay, this should be enough to take the Fremsburg there. Yeah, so that's five turns here. I should attack here and have no problems at all. Let me just keep moving and with the board. Yeah, he'll probably be able to recruit some troops there. Uh, I'll see if I can attack and destroy these guys and move into Maithelberg. In the meantime, there are some troops coming in here. And that's seven turns before it's taken. I don't know what they have here, but I'm pretty sure that these works should be enough to deal with that. If they are not, I should be moving then more forces. So that is a little bit of a problem. Now, this guy is going to siege Kataskaladan and going to siege Serenamrath. So hopefully that should be enough. Then I'll have just Edrai Karn to deal with, so that is okay. Now, I could kill all of these guys and go to Maithelberg, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, Captain? Hey, Braiga. It's kinda like Braga. So, here's some Veilsmen, some Bjorning Shield Bearers, and some Farm and Pikemen. Only infantry. And then he has only infantry here as well. Warriors, Bjorning Shield Bearers, and Bjorning Warriors. Nothing too fancy, nothing too troublesome. So, let's do this. Now, taking this and then attacking Maitelberg should be very interesting. I am sending those four units of wards. Hopefully they were not going to be attacked by a bigger force. If they are, then I'll just retreat with this army over to that, uh, over there. Eh, kind of like a bad spot to attack. They'll for sure move into this position, so... I think I'll move here and slowly crept, creep over there. Or I can go through this area and just attack there. I don't know what's the best position. Because I seriously hate... When they have less units, you shouldn't go for clumped up places. Or places where you don't, your numbers don't count to surround. I think I'll still have that ability here. But it will be proven difficult. Still, let's try it out. Let's, uh, there's a lot of factors that are in place here, you know. There we go. Snaga archers and all that stuff. That is interesting. Now, I should move in just these guys. So. There we go. Certainly, these guys have to take away the spear wall. Oh, right. This is the big, full of wargs army. 
Now I'm actually going to do this. Just have these guys very well prepared there. There we go. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to try to move forward over there. You know, over to this top area. So I'm just going to move my guys here. There we go. Now there's no point in running because the ballista won't run, so there's no point on that. What I can do is just set these guys to use their skirmishing, uh, skirmish um, arrows over to someone. And the, these works, I can just put them here. I have seven units of works, that's a lot. That's a lot, actually, man. That's cool. There we go. We're cool. Really want to check those guys just a little bit before they approach my troops, you know? Before they get together. Now, for that, I think I'm going to hit what? The Bjorning Warriors? The Shield Bearers or the Woodsmen? Well, I think the Shield Bearers. They are the ones who can cause more damage. So let's just attack that. There we go. There we go. Now this is a flank attack, so it should cause a little bit more damage than usual. If he tries to attack me, then I'll just run away. So there's there's no threat here. Yeah, I can see how he's moving over there. It seems like he wants to go here. So I'll just move here and here. He's over there, and you guys over there. Let's check that out. There we go. Please don't attack these woodsman warriors. I don't want that. The shield bearers, well, they are the ones who I want. We move here. Oh, just minimized. Sorry about that. Hope they don't engage or anything like that. Okay, these guys are no longer skirmishers, so I'm just going to take that away. These guys as well. But these guys still have some, so it is interesting to see how many they can actually kill. They can't take it away to, from 178 to 100, and to 100 only, so they kill like 50 with this. It's still completely free casualties, which is always awesome to see. You know, it's always awesome to see. Now, these guys, I'm gonna put them over there. How's everything? Yeah, they seem to be moving in. So, they are warmed up. They're winded, because most of the time, well, most of the time this happens because they're actually um, uh, climbing up. Yeah, that's true. If they are, they will never lose anything. If they are an even terrain, you know? Now, I could attack these guys and just slay them. And honestly, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Before they get to the higher ground, you know? There we go. There we go. Okay, someone is calling me, but that will have to wait. Hopefully they cause a lot of damage by charging. Yeah, they're immediately routing, so I gotta send these guys over here so they can hit the Bjorning Warriors. So these guys are now routing as well. Good, 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 good. good, good. So he can see us defeat the rest of his army. There we go. Those Bionic Warriors, they have very good stats, but they'll die. 
Actually, they are not dying, so I have to overwhelm them. Come on. Overwhelm the... My goodness, they are killing so many. I told you to attack this guy. Uh, come on, just attack them. Finally, they're fighting to the death. That will overcome that. So these guys are taking the farm and pikes. That is nice. I don't mind. Okay, so I did lose a couple of these farm... these uh, works. That is kinda interesting. I'm gonna send these guys over there. Is no one left? No, there isn't. So everyone else but these guys, I'm gonna put them here. There we go. Actually, they should move here. Archer units, I am certainly going to try to attack. There we go. Objective complete. Okay, so I killed everything. There we go. Is he moving? Well, he's certainly getting some fire. There we go. I think you can still hit some units, so that is okay. The yeah, archers for sure are gonna cause some damage, I mean. Even though they're attacking on this uh, place, they'll get a lot of these guys just because they're moving and such. Maybe they can even get them to rout, which would be amazing. Yeah, you can see that uh, the flame from these, this ballista is also doing damage, so that is okay. Now, you for sure need this. So yeah, the Veilsmen are attacking, the Farm and Pikemen are attacking as well. Pretty sure that as soon as they are re they have reached the the point of um, hitting my archers, they will rout. Pretty sure of that. And these Veilsmen, I can just send all my cavalry towards them. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let's send them against that. Let's send these guys against this. There we go. There we go, I was predicting this to happen. Archer units, let's just engage in melee. Why not? And you're gonna stop that fire. There we go. Surely these Veilsmen are not gonna survive well. There we go, managed to kill them. Yeah, everyone is routing away, so that is excellent as well. That is cool. You take that out. Yeah, these burning shield bearers are running. There we go. Hopefully I can capture everything. Those guys are fighting to the death. Those are also surrounded and fighting to the death. And I killed every single one. Good! 84 men lost. Most of them are wargs, but I still get some casualties healed up on that. That was nice, I would say. Uh, it's just also a good example of how you can do things with works, you know. Man, I really have to eat something. I have to get a snack. Let's see what happens. It's a trap! But my lord! Ah! Okay, so I want to get Mathel Bird there. Merge everything. I could actually attack already. You know, I could attack already because I have the ballista, but I'm pretty sure that it doesn't work there. So I have to worry. Yeah, I'm still losing some money. I think I can recover it by attacking here. Oh, that, there will be two turns. Then there will be a siege then. 
Okay, it doesn't yeah. seem like there's any threats here, which is nice. There's some units there on the the forts. These guys are also there on the forts. These guys are moving over there. So everything seems to be sieged up and ready. Get ready for fighting. Oh, these guys. Uh, I think I can get just a couple more. Free upkeep units. Yeah, there we go. Some more free upkeep. You know, really need that. I could raise the taxes, but I'm pretty sure that's not what I need now. I need to capture places. So, yeah, that means less money. Because I can't do what I'm supposed to with those guys. I mean, okay, let's see if I can talk to the Varix first with this guy. What is it you wish to discuss? Let's give my map information for yours. No. For some money. Really need that. I must say Reject it. So it still doesn't work that way. Okay, that's that's nice. Uh, I'm gonna send him here so that he can talk to end it End of turn, so I have what four, five places in the siege? Are they going to attack me? They are! Okay, this means that I actually have the Uruk Defenders, which is exactly what I wanted. Now he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, I did well not attacking. This Just this Bjorning Shield Bearer is a difficult unit. And the Bjorning Warriors as well. So, I guess I did fine. I knew that I would have the garrison, by the way, because I fought with it. This is about the best custom settlement to fight, and even then it still has its issues, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna start deployment. I'll just leave the captain, the Snaga, here in the middle, just so that he doesn't come in easily. And, yeah, he's over there. The only way that he can reach me is through this area, which is where I'm gonna place my units. Just the Uruk defenders can do this now, by the way. They look really well. They look really cool. More like medieval knights than anything else, you know? Alright, so that will, that will be it. I will engage them outside, I mean, since I have so many units, it's best to do this way. Let's run, actually. So I'll just envelop every single unit of his. Which is just nice. There they come. Okay. So it appears like he's going to move over to this side. So I'm just going to put these guys here. There we go. And have these guys envelop. There we go. These guys are just gonna wait in case he tries to pierce the position. These guys are just gonna go over here. So let's run. Yeah, it seems like that's the case here. So there we go. I have to wait until he arrives. So this guy is gonna go here. There we go. Yeah, it does seem like he wants to pierce through. Otherwise, he would attack here, you know. Get ready, to fight. Get ready to fight! Let's actually charge and counter charge. There we go. There we go. Now these guys are armored, so those uh, burnings should do some damage. There we go. Yeah, they are trying to pierce, so that's why I should just send these guys through. There we go. Yeah, look at that. 
when they try to pierce, you just mass forces there so that they will have to be uh, completely surrounded or they have to be very strong to pierce through and still survive there. The Burning Shield Bearers, yeah, they don't have as much um, piercing power and suddenly everyone is fighting to the death, so that's about the casualties that I'm gonna have here. There we go. Thank you, Uruk Defenders, that made it very easily. I actually am going to have maybe a general because of this fight, I don't know. Time 6. And they're all dead. Very easy. Very easy. And now there's another army coming in and that's that should be a problem. But I have my wargs nearby, so with the wargs and all of these guys I'm pretty sure that I can survive here. Zakale is also very important. It's the reason why I'm not getting any when I'm getting upkeep issues, you know. So this is actually good because I won't have that upkeep issue. I'll execute on one of them. Okay, so he is attacking me again, so I will have that. Three thousand that I lose. But my wargs are in place so that I will attack and Zakala's forces are going to replenish the that attack, so that's gonna be cool. Should be easy. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I need better roads here. Lorien is certainly under my attack. And I gotta move this guy. Let me make sure I don't forget him. So I don't have any money. It's okay, don't worry. That's that's not because I've made a mistake. It's just because I have been you know, doing different stuff. Ready. Okay, so here we go. We have a lot of units here attacking. No sleeping here. Should attack there. The, I don't see anything else. So Maithelburg, Fremsburg. This guy is going to be taken in one turn. He's producing some units. Let me just double check. There's nothing here. Also should have something there to spot, honestly. But okay. Hey, should send this guy over there. Just to have an easy setting. Yeah, I should honestly have used these Raider Skirmishes. They're the best skirmishing unit that I have. A little bit more expensive than the Snagger Skirmishes? Yeah, a little bit more. That's why Snagger Skirmishes are always, you know, not reliable, but good infantry to use for these cases. You know? So... Yeah, it appears like this is going to take six turns, that's fine. I should be able to take Fenburg with this army. Uh, since this is the one that it's going to take the capital. You know? It's not a big army, but it's, it still has some units. And as soon as I take this, I'll go back to Dane's Halls and I'll use some of the replenishment. Uh, so that'll be cool. Yeah. Whenever I want, uh, now now I should have enough troops to do so. So I'll take this. Yeah, the, I'm just planning out. That'll be on the next episode, though. So we're gonna recover Zach Colors. Uh, what do we have here? Some two hunters, Veilsmen. That's not enough to deal with this. Pretty sure I can reach them, right? Yes, I can. So I'm just gonna move here. And I'll attack. And these guys should reinforce, hopefully. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.